Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right, Aquarius. So I was going to do a preview to the six month uh, tarot spread for you guys, right? I had everything laid out in terms of doing that reading for the collective. Um, but then I heard, nah, they want the tea. Like somebody wants to know what's going on um, first. And then secondly, I was getting like, um, there's a lot of people in your energy that want to know what's going on with you, especially if you have been kind of, you know, on hermit mode or recluse or just been keeping your distance. There's a lot of people wanting to know what is going on with you. What are you doing? What are you up to? How are you still flourishing? How are you, how is this still happening for you? Whatever it is. And then there's also a lingering energy of maybe a person, a romantic relationship that is over, but not really over because the door is still open. Um, either you or the other person hasn't really closed it. Now, this, this is not for those who want to get down in the comment section and tell me, well, I have a protective order and I have that, you know, okay, well, this isn't for you. But for some of you, the relationship ended, right? But it ended, um, it's like open-ended. It's still, somebody feels like it's still opportunity for you or for, for you and them to get back together. And that's why they keep showing up in these readings. I just heard clearly off camera when I was shuffling for you guys, look, if you really want it to be over, then you make the first move. And the first move will be closing the door. Maybe even having a conversation with this person about how you are not ever getting back together. Um, and it would be in their best interest and yours to move on and to really sever this connection, this tie. And then for some of you, it's just an energy of waiting. You know that this person will be back and then maybe you will take that time to sever the, you know, sever the connection. But as long as you wait, as long as you don't have the conversation, the door is still open. This person is still thinking about you over and over again. They still want you back. They still want to uh, reach out to you. I don't think they are, but they want to. Then there's like a heavy, um, Okay, I heard hatred, maybe even jealousy for you. It could be in regards to, um, you know, friends, family members. Let's see, let's see how um, people are viewing the Aquarius, all right? Thank you, God, for blessing this reading. Thank you for blessing the Aquarius with clear, concise message from you. So how are people viewing the Aquarius, the child? So they're viewing you in your innocence. Oh, okay, I heard like angel or angelic. or um, They're also viewing you as starting over. Um, very independent also. Uh, they're viewing you as protective or, or something that needs to be protected. Or they're viewing you as protected. Especially if those for those who hate you, who are jealous of you. Maybe send you the evil eye. Maybe even do magic against you. I don't know. But there's something about protected, protective angelic or maybe there's some an angelic presence around you um they're seeing you as starting over starting fresh how is the world viewing the aquarius how, okay the main female so they they see you single because the main female is single uh they see you single uh doing your own thing blossoming abundant um beautiful they see you as you can have a partner if you want to see so some of you are single by choice um you aren't engaging in the dating pool in the dating uh field here you don't want to or you just are focused on something else um they see you apart from a, a connection a partnership they see you separated from that partnership for whatever reason how is the how are people viewing the aquarius occupation they see you as working hard Let's see you as um, maybe this is about self-employment, a business, business owner. They see you um, having some craft that you have monetized here. Um, yeah, they see you as having some craft that you have monetized and it's working out very well for you. 
okay? They see you as working very hard, too. They see you as um, liking what you do and, and being very, very good at it. How does the world see the Aquarius? Wow, they see you as suddenly walking into wealth as lucky, also, 777. They see you on the right path. Some of you can have the life path of 11 or 2. They see you as um, coming into money for whatever reason, okay? Last card for how the world, people around the Aquarius see that, okay. Um, the, they see you as keeping to yourself, okay? Um, they see you as recluse with the thief card. They see you as uh, very protective about where you put your energy, who you put it with, or uh, who you give your time to. They see you as um, you're doing something behind everybody's back, like you're not letting on to what it is you're engaged in. Um, some of you, somebody sees you as having like a secret sneaky link or somebody that you hook up with. Um, they see you as secretly coming out of maybe um, a bad period in your life. Okay, but you're not letting, yeah, they, I knew it, wealthy man or woman, they see you as um, gaining back or getting back your influence or your financial uh, footing, your financial uh, abundance here. They see you as investing in business or a business partner or business owner, or you're definitely heavily concerned about business matters at this point in your life. But this, But the world sees you as not really you know, screaming at the rooftop or on the mountaintop about your plans and what's next for you and how you're doing this and what you're doing and, you know, where people can find you and, you know, you're not doing that. They see you as um, keeping that away from, you know, the outside world. Um, let's see. How does, um... Let's see, how does uh, people around Aquarius feel about them? How do, how do the people around Aquarius feel about them? How do the people around the, the Six of Cups? So you got a lot of innocent cards. They feel like, um, again, innocent sharing your gifts, some gifts that you were born with that you're just good at being very, um, you know, open, soft, um, giving, loving. They see you as, again, protected or protective. They see you as growing in your spiritual gifts. Okay. How do people feel about the Aquarius? Three of Cups, they want to hang out with you. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. They want to socialize with you. They want to have some good times with you. Maybe even go to some social events with you. They see you, they, these people around you want to have a good time with you. Yeah, they want to, they're trying to manifest you in, in some fashion. Maybe, um, again, all about luxury, having a good time, drinking, fun, you know, um, fashion. How do the people around the Aquarius, they see you as the one. They see you as um, triumph, triumphing or triumphant or um, victorious. They see you as having success also. Maybe even basking in your success here. They see you as experiencing a level of luxury, um, of, of freedom. They see you as emotionally stable all by yourself. Um, they see you definitely recluse here. Let's see. Um, how do the people around the Aquarius feel about them? How do the people? The Queen of Cups, they see you as <laughs> Aquarius. Like, you are just really... The Queen of Cups is... So she has that... that um. It's a fixed energy. And she has that energy of um, her personality. It just is layers to it. It's unfathomable. Like you don't, you when you think you have this person figured out, here's something else they show up with. Here's something else that they're doing. Here's something else that they present to you or the world. And people see you as that. They also see you as closed down emotionally because the queen of cups is, they don't, um, her cup of emotions, you know, it's closed. Hers is closed, but she's not closed to hearing you out, to giving you good advice. And she can do that because she's not attached to the outcome. So if she gives you good advice and you don't take it, it's okay. She's she's not going to fall apart because she is practicing emotional stability. So if someone sees you as emotional, emotionally stable by way of not giving yourself away. You're not giving out too much. Um, you're withdrawn in a sense 
Uh, maybe even some people could see you as self-centered because some people see the Queen of Cups as self-centered. Um, but it's not that you're self-centered. It's, it's you're practicing emotional stability. You also are honing in on your psychic abilities to, with the Six of Cups here, your spiritual gifts. You're sharing them with other people, um, practicing them, honing in on them. You understand that you have something to offer to the world. Therefore, you want to get better at it. You want to um, have betterment or help better the world. Um yeah, the, the Queen of Cups, definitely, um, there's a lot of people attracted to you, attracted to your energy here. Um, very attractive uh, woman or man or, you know, or if you're a man, then you're kind of, um, people see that uh, feminine energy, that nurturing side of you, and people are very attracted to it. Let's see, how do people feel about the Aquarius? How do the people around the Aquarius feel? Okay the lovers so they feel like you're um very focused on your health fitness and well-being you are like systematically doing something i don't know if it's working out or eating right or um you have some system in terms of maybe how you work work and play um also you could be changing your career people could see you as some life altering change happening for you people could see you as plugged into spirit having a spiritual connection a very strong one getting uh, immediate downloads also um again back to health and fitness people see you definitely uh, focused and honed in on that um the lovers they see you is focused on your body uh, how you look um they see you like you have a dualistic nature about you right now okay they see you as actively making a choice to alter your life, change your life. That's really good. Uh, they see you. They see you as protected. Again, you got an angel here, protected. That's that angelic presence there. Um, people see you as um, the opposite sex could see you, at, you know, in a very carnal way. They're looking at your body. They're looking at, um, you know, the physicality of the relationship or of you and how well you take care of yourself, how you look. But um, you're more focused on spiritual things. Okay. So um, other people could be focused on what you have. They could be focused on the materialistic things and what they see, what you possess, what you, what you, um, yeah, what you possess, what you own. But you're more so focused on the downloads that you're getting from your, you know, your ancestors, your angels, the spiritual realm here. Uh, it's almost like, you know, as to say your help comes from above. Uh, all of your help comes from the Lord, your Lord, whatever Lord you believe in. It's, it's as if you are, you are uh, focused on uh, the spiritual realm and therefore you're getting... Um, you get a lot of physical manifestation happening and people are looking at that and um, they're trying to figure out, but they don't see that you're focused and you're tuned in, you're clued in on spirituality, on God, whatever your God is. And, and therefore, okay. They see you as like an, I don't know, like maybe even like, um, they're trying to figure out how you're getting all of these things or how you're getting these blessings or once again, you have people focused on the material um, facet of your life. Uh, maybe what you drive, how you dress, what you wear, what you, where you eat, how you can afford, or how much money is in your bank account. But they don't see that there's a, a strong spiritual connection presence in your life. And therefore, the blessings, um, you know, they come from above is what I'm getting. All right, let's see. Um, what should the Aquarius know about uh, people around them? All right. What should Aquarius know about the people around them? What should the Aquarius? All right. There we are. The Eight of Cups. Did you? You might have to leave some of these people behind. You know, finishing up maybe connections, obligations with uh, these people around you, and then moving on. Um, Self analysis. Maybe even analysis. <laughs> Maybe, uh, you know, um, doing some analysis on yourself in terms of what, how you just unfulfilled here. There's disappointment, discontentment. Um, it's a tough emotional decision to make because there was love, there was giving, there was 
Um, you got some of the same cards coming out of the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. We're going to put them back because they, they just popped out and we'll see what they have to offer. Um, what does the Aquarius need to know about the people around? So you're going to have to leave something or, some, or a group of people behind. Something that is, you're never going to get true fulfillment here. People are committed to disliking you, committed to... Um, maybe discrediting you, committed to your downfall. And you're gonna to have to leave this behind. It's gonna be so tough, especially if these are loved ones, family members. Let's see, what is, what is the query? Is it, wow, can't make it up, six of swords. So again, another card of travel, leaving behind. It says put it behind, um, you know, the hurt from previous relationships. You know, making sense of it. Because the swords are about mental thoughts, thoughts. So it's like rationalizing the fact that you have to, to get away from this in order to have peace, serenity, calm, uh, just more so peace in your life. If people don't offer that for you, to you, um, in relationship with you, then you need to move on. It makes sense to do so. The Six of Swords could also be moving on in shame. Maybe you didn't get what you wanted. Maybe, you know, it was too much of a battle. Somebody was definitely committed to this discord, disruption, disliking you, having dissatisfaction with you, discrediting you, dis, dis, dis. So they were not committed to actually changing. There was also an underlining issue or um, maybe an ulterior motive with this person, all right, or a people. Because you got um, multiples here with the eight and the six. So what does Aquarius need to know about the people around them? What does the Aquarius need to know? Somebody, this could be like change of friend groups, maybe even family. Wow, the Ten of Swords. That, you know, all of a sudden there will be collapse or devastation. You have to move on from this. Some relationship, maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces highlighted, Aquarius, and then Gemini highlighted. You're going to have to let this go because it's going to offer nothing but devastation. The relationship is way too volatile. It goes up and down, hot and cold. You don't know what you're going to get. One minute you're being nice and they're being nice. And then the next there is this, you know, a slap in the face. Hopefully not literally. Um... The queen of pentacles it could have something to do with your mother or a mother figure it could have something to do with the fact that um you're coming into a, a very um creative abundant place you're walking into your life purpose you're focused on yourself uh, you're focused on your health your well-being luxury giving um you are earth mother or there's something um about mother here some of you could be walking away from your mother some of you you got all you got three queens out here so it could be a circle of women who gossip about you talk about you they have nothing good to say about you and then also this could also just be you coming into that very abundant creative energy where you know it's time for you to blossom it's time for you to shine um you will be walking into a place of abundance luxury uh let's see op opulence uh, affluence so last card for what aquarius needs to know about these people around them yeah some of you are really charismatic outgoing you attract people to you people it's like people they love to hate you so love comes first and then hate right let's see what do people what does the aquarius need to know about people around them all right the moon card yeah um there's a lot of secrecy. The moon card talks about hidden enemies. So these people like to stay hidden so they can stay close to you. Because if they're they're known enemies, then you'll keep your distance, even though, you know, they say it's best to keep close to your enemies. Um, but this person is a hidden en enemy here. Um, they act like they're giving or that they're caring or that they share or that they care to share with you. Um, but it is all just in an attempt to have some power dynamic over you. This also could be a mother figure here. Um, let's see if we can gather any more information. Okay, I see why the spirit is like, they want the tea or they need the tea. There's somebody who maybe even tells outright lies about you, gossip, gossips about you behind your back. When this person talks about you, they talk about you with other people that know you, that have had relationship with you. Also, if this is your mother, 
if your mother is talking about you to other people, then the people that she she's talking to you about, um, they then in the conversation with her, but they have question in terms of, you know, the validity of what she's saying about you. And also they question like, why would a mother talk so badly about a child, her own child? So, um, something about you, um, whomever's talking about you, somebody can't trust their word anyway. Um, somebody also sees through somebody's jealousy. If somebody's trying to sow seeds of discord, they, they may not tell the person who has a lot to say about you that, hey, I see through you, but they know they're like, okay, I, 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 I know jealousy when I hear it. So this person who is kind of like this hidden enemy, if they try to garner, um, you know, people against you or other people or try to, you know, garner strength or other people, they already know what's up with this person. Um, yeah. So let's see. Um, now you've got energy of, um, so somebody's off and on hot and cold. We talked about that type of relationship that you could be having with loved ones here. Now it just, it just seems as if somebody wants forgiveness here. Someone's asking for forgiveness. They're aware of all the stuff that they've done. They want to ask you to move in with them or you, or can they move in with you? Somebody's saying, will you just take me back already? Um, you know, and, um, if you love me, show it. I'm um, someone saying, I love you so much. It scares me. It's just like in, in somebody's, um, in your absence here, somebody is realizing how much they miss you, how valuable you are. I'm not sure if they're ready for you to trust them. Um, let's see. Yeah. Now they're chasing you. This kept coming out off camera. So you could have been the chaser and now this person is, is willing to chase you because you've walked away from this. Again, the cards, well, again, spirit wanted to tell you if you really want this to be over, then close the door. You take the first move or make the first move. Um, expand your mind, accept perspective, your crown chakra. You may be getting some downloads. Um, somebody is definitely against you. I'm bad and you're good. Only one of us will win at the end. Um, and your love feeds my big ego. That's what I'm somebody here, um, has a really big ego, egotistical, narcissistic. They like the fact that you still show up as, um, the same person each and every day, even when they show up differently. So now somebody's in a, a place of, uh, wanting to have sex with you. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's see if we can get some last energy. Cause I don't want to harp on this energy too long. And then we're going to close it out with the moonology deck. Um, yeah. Somebody around you feels like you think you're so mature, but you aren't because you show up consistent. Somebody is the devil spawn. Like they just, yeah. And um, I think you could be saying, look, you have people laughing at me. This relationship is over. So maybe somebody did something public or uh, they, pub they hum publicly humiliated you or didn't show up or um, people know about. And this came out off camera. They, quotation marks, are praying for your downfall. So it could be a group of people. And we saw all of those uh, queen cards. And a lot of times when you have a lot of queens come out in a reading it can talk about gossip amongst women or you know gossip amongst um maybe sometimes it, it can even talk about you know wiccan or a circle of women that whether they title themselves as witches or whatnot it could be some witchy vibes you know so they could be doing you know getting together to send you the evil eye you know um yeah, so do keep in mind there are some people praying for your downfall, Aquarius, but it looks like you're very protected. And this, these people even see it, you know, because it, I guess what they're doing isn't taking effect. And, um, yeah, let's see. All right, and let's close out with the Moonology deck. 
keep your secret keep your plans to yourself it looks like you are aquarius everyone is not happy for you a lot of people are not happy for you um but that is okay um bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius and i think you do this around your birthday season um you're going to really see that people are not happy for you it just says bring love into the situation here because you are unconventional you're off the beaten path you do as you want um you do as you please you know because you have put in that hard work and that dedication and again people are just not happy for you let's see what else do we want to tell the Aquarius? Whoa, got a lot of cards coming up. Okay, could be a Virgo, could be an Earth sign. So we are going to put these back in the deck. All right, let's see. What do we want to tell the Aquarius? All right, last. Oh, not last card. Uh, a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon and Libra. So something is going to be made, right? We have the scales of justice. So if there was unfair treatment or someone did you wrong or if there's someone owing you money, if there's a litigation, legal situation going on, an outcome, a win-win outcome is forecast here. Let's see. Uh, hold your vision. This came out off camera when I was shuffling. So you have a vision. You you know what you want your future to look like. Hold it, Aquarius. Don't shift it or alter it because right now, at this time, at this place, it's not looking like it's shaping up. You don't know what the universe has in store for you. Hold your vision. If it's to be in that loving relationship with a man or a woman, hold that vision. If it's to have your own business, a successful one, hold your vision. If it's to have all of your children, in the same home as you uh, on, the, on the same accord in a loving environment hold that vision um, if it's just to have more money more stability in your life hold that vision Aquarius don't give up all right let's see let's see all right a personal issue reaches resolution full moon and cancer personal issue reaches resolution here um, with this card this could be talking about uh, what am I getting from this? I, I almost feel like it could be health, health related too. It also could be the the health of uh, your finance, your finances. It's gonna it's gonna be some resolution here. Also, especially if you are waiting for money. It says work through your fears new moon in scorpio yeah it's like you're fearing that you're not going to get um the outcome that you deserve believe in the impossible blue moon yes the universe is working with you and through you this is a time for healing okay aquarius um, so do check your north and all step out of your comfort zone okay uh, get into a place of um, being uncomfortable. That's where you learn. That's where you grow. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. If you have people who are against you, you know, especially this last card, I don't like it. Um, we have people who are against you who are praying for your downfall you see that down arrow let's put some up arrows down in the comment section so we can manifest together we're going up we're taking this thing up we already know that we're protected that we're going up that things are happening for us so let's go ahead and put our up arrows down in the comment section if you know that you're, you're going higher that you're ascending in every aspect of your life put some up arrows I want a lot i want to see so many up arrows so that we can manifest corporately because they're praying for our downfall, but we're going up. Okay, Aquarius. So um, all links are below. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could come learn the tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below in the description box. Also, the Amazon wish list if you'd like to purchase something for the channel. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.